So this is my CERN 2, as I call it. Um, it is slightly smaller than the one below, which is my uh, first uh, CERN that I built. And uh, I call it CERN because it goes around. Anyway, um, this one is just a tiny bit smaller diameter, but my friend redesigned it. And what he did is he combined uh, uh, with the coil, the holder for the LED and the sensor that's on the other side, as well as these sides, these sides right here are way higher. So the ball does not uh, try to leave the track like the one on my older one, which is below. So it's it was a lot of fun to build it. It took some time. It the electronics uh, to solder it together and made a couple mistakes so I had to debug it but that's the fun part about it because uh, you know mistakes that's what uh, that's what teaches you that's what teach me at least uh, uh, and anyway but it's working and um, I'm very happy about it if you want to build it I'll uh, put the uh, part on the um, think thing is worse and you can download it from there you guys have a great day. Some details. What I did is I made these boards removable. So I just put basically headers on, soldered them on. And then these wires, uh, like the red and blue, that goes to a LED, the white LED that is on every corner. So there's four of them. And of course, on the bottom is the sensor, the photo sensor. And the photo sensor is green and black wire. So they, uh, they just plug in, and the coil is the same thing. The coil wires just plug in. And each of these boards hold two controllers. So this one controls this, and this controller controls this uh, here. So one more time, this one here, and this one there. And then the other two, con this, these two, uh, are controlled by this, uh, this piece. So I didn't want to cut it into four pieces because it... Uh, it will be even more unwieldy, but mine uh, in the previous version, I hide it uh, below, but uh, people were asking to see what it looks like inside, so I just basically dropped it in here. It's not glued or, or anything because I want to be able to service it in case something happens. Um, one small little detail, uh, for instance, is that uh, LED, uh, I just glued basically, it was a crazy glue, the wires to the LED and then routed them through the underneath the bottom here and uh, on the other side uh, on top of the wires going under these two are the power cords so one powers this side and the other one powers this and this just runs off of a, a 12 volt battery which is this thing right here uh, well it's 11.3 volts now anyway um, so that's uh, that's how it works. If you look at my previous video, uh, you'll be able to find out that uh, uh, more a little bit more details. And basically, it's identical uh, except for the size, and that this is redesigned by my friend. Uh, so anyway, my friend name is Howard, by the way. And uh, as I said, I'll put it on the Tinky Words, and you guys can download it and make it yourself if you want. So the information you're missing on this video is on the previous one and I'll put the shortcut for it uh, in the description.